All right, guys. So, I have a question for y'all. Do y'all want to see a teardown or not? What I have is my O2, or it's out of my O2 Dodge. And that truck about eight years ago, transmission messed up and just truck wasn't worth putting no more money into. And the front end needed rebuild again. And just a bunch of other crap. So, as y'all can see, I put some oil field molly on it to keep everything from rusting since, and as you can see, got some dirt in there. But it's the engine neat. For it to go into the trucks that I have and will be possibly getting, which that might be a surprise, it's in the works. Might be getting something with uh, two snails on it, possibly, which hopefully things will work out. But the crank, this is out of the O2, and the crank that are in those trucks, which is a 98 to a 2000, the, the, it has a crank position sensor on the 98, that goes right here, on the 98 to 2000. The 2001s and 2002s ran off of a cam position sensor, which is right there. So as you can see, it had 240 something thousand on it. And if I get this to focus. Right. There. Well, you see, it still has cross hatching in it. So the engine's not hurt or nothing. Never was hurt. But it's been sitting in the shop and I finally got to put it on my new engine stand. I got from Harbor Freight. As you can see inside the engine, I bought this tr the truck when it had 155,000 miles on it. And it's always had good cooling in it. It's never been overheated. I knew, I know the original owner of the truck. But I wanted to do a complete teardown on it and a rebuild on it. Go ahead and put a towing cam. I, what the plan is, towing cam, mantin push rods, which I already have. They're in the box in the house. Manson valve springs, different pistons, possibly the high output pistons, um, billet freeze plugs, billet tappet covered, um, just the works. Just do it up, do it up right. And I don't think it's going to be bored over, which hopefully it don't, which will be better for the compression ratio. But guys, let me know. Do y'all want to see a teardown on it or no? So. Comment down below and just let me know what y'all think. Have a great day.